Hello everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am so excited because we are making mini vegan buffalo chicken crunch wraps. What a mouthful. And also, what a mouthful. Okay, these are so, so good and I'm so excited to share the recipe with you all. So about two years ago now, I put out my first recipe for the vegan crunch wraps and those exploded. Everybody went crazy for them. It's by far one of the most popular recipes that I've ever done. And then in January, I decided to make them mini. Like I still made regular crunch wraps, but I made them mini and they were so cute. And now we have another variation with the buffalo chicken crunch wrap. So I am so excited to share it with you all. It was of course 100% vegan and and yeah, as always, the full written out recipe is on my blog. There's a link in the description box down below for that. The ingredients are listed out in the description box down below as well, as well as links for my podcast cookbook to sign up for my newsletter. And I also write out all the ingredients and everything that I think you will need for this recipe with links in the description box. So check out the description box because it's going to have pretty much everything that you will want to know in there. So with all that being said, let's go make some mini crunch wraps. So for this recipe, I'm gonna use the Gardein lightly seasoned chicken scallopini. I'm just preparing it according to package directions. So I'm just gonna put a little spray oil in there, cook it for one side per minute, and then you add in about three tablespoons of water for two pieces, and then you cover it and you just let it cook. I toyed around with the idea of using soy curls, of using a breaded chicken, like a vegan breaded chicken patty. I go into it in the blog post if you are curious, and there's so many ways you could do it, but I ultimately figured I just wanted to use this Guardian chicken scallopini for this because I like it. So once they're all cooked up like this, we're just going to pop them on a plate and we're gonna let them rest for a minute or two. And then we're gonna cut them up into little bite-sized pieces. So I just first cut it into strips and then I cut it into like little squares from there. I don't know. I toyed around again with the idea of like doing a shredded chicken, but I don't know. I liked the little pieces in there instead. So that's what I went with. And because they're little, you don't need actually that much of each ingredient because you don't wanna overstuff the crunch wraps, which I'll talk about more later. But yeah, so the two was more than enough. So this is this, and then let's prepare our other ingredients. So first I'm gonna cut up some little cherry tomatoes, and I'm just, or I guess these are grape tomatoes, sorry. And I'm just going to cut them up into thirds. My knife was sharp, okay, these tomatoes were a little bit old, but they're fine. They're good enough, they're going in a wrap. They don't need to be the most amazing tomatoes. So I'm just gonna pop those into a little dish i couldn't think of the word for a second sorry and put them to the side and then we're going to cut up some green onion so cutting off the bottoms cutting off the tops and then we will just slice it and i like to prepare everything and then keep it separate so that way it's like easy to assemble it kind of like when i make spring rolls like i like to keep everything separate so then that way as i'm making these wraps it's just easier to grab the ingredients so green onions chopped up then we're going to cut up a little bit of lettuce you can just do like i don't i really didn't do that much because again you don't need very much of each ingredient so i'm just going to finally shred that this is my vegan cheese i'm using the so delicious mexican style shreds then you need little street tacos okay like these then you need a medium-sized taco i'm using these plant-powered ones and then you need some sort of a chip i'm using these like cauliflower ones they're really good and then some vegan sour cream then we're going to take buffalo sauce a tablespoon and drizzle that over the vegan chicken we cut up and just toss it around i probably should have put this in a bowl but like whatever so let's assemble we're going to take one of our tortillas and we're going to spread some of the vegan sour cream on the bottom this is going to like kind of act like a little glue i'm using my street taco to measure i don't want the main ingredients to go further out than the size of the street taco so then we're going to add in some vegan chicken we're going to add in some vegan cheese i'm going to add two chips on top and then i'm going to use a little more vegan sour cream to kind of like uses a glue to like hold them together and then we're gonna add a little more vegan cheese and then you're gonna add in some lettuce green onion tomato and then i started to also add in a little more buffalo sauce to each of them i didn't do it for this one but i did it later on then i'm gonna pop that street taco on there and then you just start folding it up in that sort of traditional crunch wrap shape kind of like a hexagon you're gonna flip it over immediately because it'll stay together better and then i like to bring it directly to the pan and just pop it in there add a touch of spray oil in there and then just put them in there let them cook on about a medium low heat for about like two to three minutes four minutes per side until it gets golden brown if when you flip it it comes undone like that don't worry you can just kind of smush it back together as it cools it'll go back in place so some of my tips 
for making crunch wraps are definitely to not overfill your crunch wrap because then it will rip. I've experimented with both warming up the tortilla and doing it not cold, but like having it sit out for a few minutes. I think warming it up definitely makes it easier. Don't add in too much sauce or anything because that will spill out from the sides as well. And don't worry about if your folding is perfect or not. Like really, who cares? And again, as you can see, like you can just kind of hold it in place and as it cools and it firms up, these will hold their shape better. So they're all done. And now we got to cut into them. Looks like this, so beautiful, so good good and that's pretty much it i just added some extra buffalo sauce on there because i like things extra buffalo saucy and some vegan ranch i used the one from dea and these are them and they're so cute and i know they probably don't look mini like on camera but that dish that they're in is so small these are so little they, like i said they literally fit in the palm of my hand they are the cutest all right everyone and those are our delicious mini vegan buffalo chicken crunch wraps. I really hope you try them out because they are so good and I just love that they're little. Like I just, I don't know, anything that's mini is just so cute to me. So I think you all will really enjoy them. Like I said earlier, full burnout recipe is on the blog and links in the description box down below for that. If you try it out, let me know how it goes. Leave a comment down below, tag me on Instagram, use hashtag plantfully based so I can see your beautiful recreations. And if you didn't go super well, let me know still. I still like to hear back, you know, we can talk about it. We can maybe figure out what went wrong. So yeah, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my videos, you know, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Helps channel out, helps us to grow and spread more vegan recipes. And I will see you next week with another video. Bye.